Hey guys, this is Junior Trader, and in this video, we are taking a look at TQQ and SPY as in the broader market indices, and then we'll take a look at tech stocks, Microsoft, Apple, Google, Amazon, Meta, and Netflix. Guys, I would highly suggest check out my Tesla video that I have done on my channel today. Tesla is just mind blowing, it's going to the moon, guys. It's super high up, 6.66% up today looking great and i'll do another well one more one video on nvidia as well later today i did one in the morning but tomorrow we have nvidia's earnings so get ready for that as well so that video will be coming out follow up as well after tesla also oh, well after this uh, particular video of the broader market and the tech stock so with that guys please hit the like and subscribe and also please note none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes okie dokie so first thing I want to just quickly get out of the way is just a little, little bit show you my day trading bot. I know some of you have been asking on the emails just to, you know, uh, provide you just what QQ and SPY has been, how bot has been doing on QQ and SPY. So it's for all those members, not just members, but any audience who have reached out to me. Guys, this is what it is on QQQ day trading bot. Um, last 30 trades of data is right over here. Net profitable, good money we are making, and uh, today also got a good buy position and good partial sales as well along the way on that buy position. So good money made, and then real quickly show you on spy as well. Uh, great moves, net profitable, and also being in a profitable position. So you can see the last thirty trades of data on the left side here in the table, and then things have been looking great. So anyways, if you need access to my tools, links are in the description below of this video, all right? Now, with that, let's go back to our technical analysis and let's do that. Again, guys, there is, I, I don't take guarantee of anything. Um, you, know, uh, you know, there are red days as well. You saw that. It's all about being net profitable and learning the disciplines of trading and uh, that's, that's the game. Again, data speaks for itself. I showed you the table. I showed you the data. Everything is over there. Uh, just rewind the video a little bit and see those tables, all right? Okay, so let's start off today with SPY, all right? And then we'll go to QQQ and then tech stocks. So what am I seeing here? Well, SPY is all-time highs, continuing higher. I have been saying that since the very time we formed this pivot that it's going to continue higher. And yeah, level by level, guys. So the no one knows how high it's going to go. We got to stick with the structure and the structure is to the upset. Am I seeing any structure break to the downside? Am I seeing any consolidation? No, I'm not. The If if SPY breaks the level of 527, some cool off may come, but SPY, that will just a pullback. SPY is still in the bullish structure. It will stay in the bullish structure. Even if we come down to 518, that will just be a pullback on the bullish structure. It's period bullish, okay? <laughs> That's what it is. Uh, let's take a look at hourly interval and not going to make things complicated guys i'm going to keep them very simple spy is full-on bullish now tomorrow as if we continue high tomorrow nvidia has its earnings so we'll see nvidia if it can push it higher but i'll show you microsoft you will get to know soon why things are so up because microsoft is just rallying now yeah so spy if it breaks all-time highs at 531 just going to continue higher yeah um spy may only give any cool off safer cool offs may only come if it breaks the level of 530 at the moment otherwise guys you buckle up this thing is very bullish and again that would be just intraday cool offs on the swing side bulls have a lot of room to play as i just showed you those levels right on the pullback as well qqq new all-time highs went up higher again am i seeing any downtrend no i have been saying that this is a uh, pivot as it has forming if bulls wants to rotate it back to the upside fully then it will break out of this zone of 432 and it's gonna go higher and we have been getting that after forming that pivot no slowing down and we have been going higher uh, is it is it bearish anywhere no is the structure turning bearish no is tomorrow is it gonna sell off there's no confirmation for that things are bullish guys all the pullbacks are just getting bought back up structure is still to the upside new support is at 544 if this breaks, maybe some cool off may come. That will be just cool off to intraday level 449. We're not even sure if it's going to come down there because the direction is to the upside. This is the time to take partial profits. All right, if you got in here at these pivots. 
and uh, you can try reloading more into these pullbacks at these levels otherwise I won't suggest starting a new position here uh, you are late to the party all right okay that's QQQ full-on bullish I'm not seeing any structure to the downside I gave it the levels to watch if weakness would start coming in right now QQ is very bullish 449 pullback is also just going to keep it very bullish there's just a lot of support sitting here all right let's go to the individual tech stocks now let's go to microsoft so microsoft you can see went to the all-time highs we got the structure change at 397 i have been talking about that and since then we have been just making higher highs higher lows microsoft is not bearish any pullback to the level of 420 will still keep it uh, on the structure side bullish and according to any cool offs of the level breaks until then some intraday short may be played but it's not swing bearish it is full-on bullish uh, i mean we are above 20 and 50 days moving average it has a lot of room to stay bullish guys yeah so that's that apple in the overall structure right apple is also guys full-on bullish uh, again um it found support at 200 days moving average am i seeing any structure to the downside no um any pullback on these are getting bought back up this is a new support at 191 and 17 cents uh, the next level i'm seeing is the 196 possibly can we go higher up there well technically we are in that direction so let's go to the hourly interval uh, as i already showed you bulls have a lot of room to play with on the pullback as well uh, even if you have a pullback to 191 and 92 cents, that's just a pullback. If you lose that level, some intraday cool off may come to 191, but the structure will still stay bullish. Below 191, I will be a little bit concerned, but right now, am I seeing any of that? No. So any position, if it has to be taken in the reload zones, that could be taken with the stop loss on the other side. That's your best bet. Move has already happened. This is your late to the party, as we were calling out that if these are the times in the consolidations and pivots formation that position is to be taken these are the time to partially size out as for right now structure is still full-on bullish uh yeah it has a lot of room to stay still bullish google market is all on all in all guys full-on bullish google unstoppable bullish not even as I mean, at this point, even if any pullbacks comes to 171 and 81, 18, 81 cents, I think, yeah, then it's still just a bullish pullback and a structure. I don't even have to go in much depth on technicals there. We are fully bullish. Amazon, I mean, uh, I mean Google, uh, let's actually take, let, yeah, I'm coming back on Google here, guys. I just want to show you my day trading bot there as well. Still super profitable, guys. Uh, you can see the data on the you know left-hand side. And uh, yeah super super good moves money being made loving it all right just want to quickly show you that let's take a look at amazon so amazon has been cooling off and i expected that i have been saying that uh, once we started to form this double top here um but yeah now here what well so here's the thing this is a pivotal point um i don't have any bias on either side but if you are planning to trade the bullish case this is the time uh, and then stop loss has to be below 50 days moving average if you are planning to play bearish i would say wait until the break of 180 dollars all right meta meta a little bit cooling off after that rebound that we were talking about we got that rebound and then after that rebound it's selling off pretty much at that level of resistance of 481 with 50 days moving average here's the thing again it's based off of this level trade if you are bullish you can wait and see if this continues to hold the 20 days moving average and starts to go up here price action on lower interval starts to hold here then a stop loss could be played below that if you want to play it short i would suggest that you wait for the break of 20 days moving average and with the break of the level of 460 short play can be played on this thing and as a matter of fact i'm gonna be i'm not opening this play right away but this is what i'm looking at and i'll open up this play as if this uh, gives me that confirmation and the long play, I want this green candle to take out this red body though first. And then I'll open up a long play. Then we'll see. Stop loss below the level. Yeah, as the thing evolves, I'll talk about that. Uh, Netflix. Netflix all-time highs as well going super high up. And let's see how the day trading bot on this has been doing. Because Netflix has been, wow, looking great, guys. Look at the green days on Netflix. Unstoppable. Bot has been unstoppable on it amazing net profitable also 
loving loving it all right as you know if you need access to my tools links are in the description below of this video all right and uh, now on the daily interval netflix is still full on bullish guys still full on bullish uh, we never broke below this was the pivotal point that if we would have broken below 608 with the break below blue box that would have been the downside but we stayed above that we are above 20 and 50 days moving average full on bullish making new all time highs this is i mean this has, bulls have just so much room to play with i don't see this falling to 624 but any pullback to that level is just a bullish thing on this after these demand candles guys pullbacks are usually bought back up so yeah that's that guys that's it for this video if you found it helpful valuable hit the like subscribe and with that i'll see my next videos guys take care bye